Hello everyone, welcome to Morty Motoring. It is a very frigid 19 degrees outside. I'm here in my shop that doesn't have heating, so it's a little cold, we got gloves on. This is my 2013 LS460 all-wheel drive. Got it a few months ago, been working on it, needs a few things. Not drivable at the moment, still working on it. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about this 2004 Lexus ES330 that I picked up for very, very cheap and how this might be the best bargain Lexus you can get. So welcome back to the channel if you are a returning subscriber. This is a car that I just got this week. It has 261,000 miles on it. It's front wheel drive. It has a 3.3 liter V6 with a timing belt. It's a little bit more maintenance, kind of like my 2005 Sequoia. And it's in really, really good condition, despite it being very dirty because it's snowy, cold, and salty outside. It just kind of gets beat up as soon as you drive it out there. But all that aside, this car is very clean for the mileage as it was maintained at a Lexus dealership. It was very well taken care of. So let me tell you the reason why I got this. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that we had a Mazda CX-9 as well as a Lexus ISF that I sold and I kind of replaced with the LS460 and my 2005 Toyota Sequoia, which we still have and drive. Well, my fiance has been driving the Sequoia and it's been fine, especially for winter, it's been great. The problem is that it gets 13 miles per gallon and her commute is maybe 30 miles, about 40 minutes. And it's just not super practical to drive all the time. And I kind of want it back because I want to do some stuff with it. So with the CX-9 sold and the Sequoia being used as the daily, I was left with this LS460, which uh, had some issues, so I've been fixing. So I had to pick up a car in the meantime. I picked up the Pontiac Vibe GT, and that has been great. That was the Toyota engine. We did a little maintenance on that, did a video on it, and I drove that for a while, a couple months. Thought this was finished. I actually sold the Vibe and found this as the replacement because this is actually going to my fiance. So we're gonna get this car all squared and ready to go. This is gonna be the new commuter. It's gonna get better gas mileage, almost double, actually should be more than double on the highway of what the Sequoia got, probably like 26, 27 miles per gallon. It, this can actually take 87. These ESs didn't have as high of a compression ratio for the engine. You can run 87 in these. It's the same engine as a lot of the Camrys and Avalons in the early 2000s. So this being a 2004, it's got 261,000 miles. It will need a timing belt soon, so I'm gonna do that. And it can run 87, so it'll be a good commuter. It's very smooth, soft, quiet. So that's why I got this car. So we're gonna have the LS460 all-wheel drive once it's running for me, and then I can give this to my fiance to drive, and I can park the Sequoia here to do some more modifications on it. I have a light bar, I have a bunch of other stuff I need and want to do to it so that it'll be ready for the upcoming spring and some off-road adventures this winter as well. So it's, it's just cold, so I've been moving slowly. We'll have this done soon, but the ES is a great car. I can drive this around right now and there's just nothing really to worry about. It's just so let's take a look at this kind of uh, the exterior. We got this interesting pink color. I'm not sure what it's called, uh, but being that this is for my fiance, she likes this color, so we will uh, rock that. We don't need to change that. One of the headlights is a little foggy, so might have to try cleaning that up. We have some paint chipping here as well. Not a big deal for a commuter car, especially when I tell you the price I paid for this. So overall, pretty clean body. There's no crazy dents, no crazy scratches. It is dirty right now, so just ignore that. Uh, interior, very good. We got my coat there. It's kind of blocking that, but these are all clean. These are all very good leather seats, very comfortable. Nothing crazy going on in here. It's a very simple car uh, for the era, you know, 2004 Lexus ES. This was the base model. So, you know, just more upscale Avalon or Camry in a way, even though those had a lot of the same features. Yeah, this is just a very basic, nice Lexus. You can drive this, get some decent gas mileage, front wheel drive, easy to maintain. This is perfect. We do have a sunroof and Here's a look at the back. You can see it next to the LS. <laughs> LS is a much bigger car. Let me tell you what I paid for this. I got this for $2,250. Yes, $2,250. That's below market because of the mileage, but it's super clean. I got it from a dealer in the area that I know. They got, it was a trade-in. And yeah, I, I got pretty lucky with this. 
and uh, let's take a look under the hood and you can see how lucky I got. You can be the judge of how lucky or unlucky I got up here. So there it is. So far, I've replaced the air filter and the cabin air filter. Nothing crazy. I haven't done anything else yet. I The oil looks clean. Transmission fluid looks proper. Uh, it's a little dusty and dirty in here, but that's okay. Timing belt will need done. I think that says 186 and we're sitting at 261, so it will need done relatively soon. I'm going to pop this timing cover off and just check the condition of the belt to see how soon we need to do that. But my plan is to get this all good, squared away, and maintained so that it's many miles of problem-free commuting. And then I will have that, and we'll have the Sequoia as the third vehicle for winter, off-road, all that good stuff. So yeah, there it is, the ES330. I, I was looking at Highlanders, Camrys, Accords, pretty much everything Honda or Toyota for a commuter car that's gonna be comfortable, reliable, and this came up and it was just such a good price, I had to hop on it. And now we each will have a Lexus sedan, and then we have the Toyota Sequoia SUV for our lake trips, winter trips, vacations. Uh, we could even take this, it's all wheel drive, but we can keep these nicer as our kind of commuter around town cars and keep the Sequoia for those other adventures. So if you like this car, maybe you have one, you have some uh, advice, uh, you just wanna say how much you love it, drop it in the comments below. Uh, maybe you're the previous owner of this car and uh, you can tell me something about it I don't know. Uh, that's the cool thing about YouTube. You learn a lot of different stuff and uh, gonna do some maintenance on it here and hopefully it'll just keep running like Lexus's and Toyota's are known to do. I also have an update coming soon on the LS. I uh, found a fuel leak, so I gotta fix that. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more videos on these pair of Lexus's. Uh, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel out. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep those wheels turning. So